Good evening, everybody. Adam here with Lifeline Church, and I just want to take a few minutes this evening and and talk to you guys about about the struggles of life. Um, you know how to go from the struggle to triumph, and in so doing that, with the guidance and the love of Jesus Christ. Um, you know, we we all have to remember that life is not always fair. Life is not always fun. You know, sometimes we go through crisis. And believe it or not, crisis is normal to life. And crisis and what we do in crisis is how we are able to grow as human beings, as Christians, just as as everyday jokes. You know, it, it, it really it comes down to how we deal with crisis. Um, you know, for me personally, when I'm having a bad day, let's say I'm struggling at work, um, you know, I, I nothing's going right. I, I, I just feel like I, I can't win that day. You know, that is the best time for me to, you know, pray about it and show gratitude and give thanksgiving to God. Um, you know, I, I, I'll sit there and pray. I might be on a roof. It might be 110 degrees out. And, you know, I'm... I'm I'm just unhappy, I'm uncomfortable, I'm sweaty, I'm hot, you know, I, I, I can't figure out what I'm doing. Um, you know, that's that's when I, I turn to God and I thank him for me even having the opportunity to go through this struggle at work. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have a job. And it, as much as I not might not like it, you know, I, I have to think about, all those men and women out there in this world right now that are out of work and, you know, they, they, they wish they had this job. They wish they had the opportunity that I have at that, at that point in time. And, you know, I, that really does change my attitude. It, it, it changes my whole perspective and it, it kind of gives me peace. Um, you know, peace is the ultimate umpire especially when you're trying to do the will of God. So in Colossians 3.15, it says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. You know, that, that scripture right there really speaks to me. It, it, it tells me to be thankful. And when, when I do give thanks and thanksgiving to Jesus Christ, in the middle of a struggle, it, it kind of does bring peace upon me. And, you know, the, my atmosphere changes. You know, it, it goes from a negative to a positive. And, you know, what, what also I, I want to let you guys know is that God never ends anything on a negative. He always is working for our highest good to get a positive. So if you're going through a tough time and you're you're feeling hopeless, remember that God never ends on a negative. And in Genesis 50:20, it says, "You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives." You know, what what I have learned over the years is that when I am having a difficult time and I am I am going through a season of trials, when I get through that, when I when I grow through and get through those trials and that difficult season with God, years, months, days down the road, I might run into someone else who is going through something similar. And because I have personally dealt with the situation that they're going through, I might be able to give them some counsel. I, I might be able to let them know what worked for me, what didn't work for me. I know that, you know, when when I'm looking for answers and I, I'm feeling hopeless and I can't figure it out, if someone who has went through similar circumstances comes to me and is willing to offer me advice or good godly counsel um, and, and share with me how they were able to get through that 
I will take it with open arms. Um, I am not one to shut down uh, someone who has an answer for me that I can't come, come up with myself. I, I, I will humble myself and, and say, I don't know what I'm doing. Can you please share with me what worked for you? And I am always grateful for that. And as Christians, that's what we are called upon to do is is to be there for our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and to help get them through these trials and tribulations that they are going through and, and to share with them our experiences. And I, I especially love to share what worked for me, but most importantly, to share that God was the center of it. God was the center of of what I came up with and, and, and worked with me. But because in all reality, I didn't come up with it. It was God, you know, and I, every time I have a victory, I, I have to remember that I could not have done it without God. And I give all glory to him, all glory to him. Without him, I, I would be lost. I, I, I would be a lost sheep roaming around, not knowing where I'm going, walking in circles, but God straightens out my path. And, and he leads me into victory. He leads me into triumph. He holds my hand and, and, and carries me through struggles. You know, and, and there, there's all kinds of different struggles out there. It could be financial. It could be uh, relationships. You know, the, there are times where I feel I feel lonely and, and loneliness is setting in and, and it's just ripping me apart inside. And, and what I have to remember and what I'm, I'm suggesting to you all to remember is that we are never alone and God is always with us and that his love for us is unconditional. Being with God dispels the loneliness that we are feeling. Let God fill your heart and counsel you to gain victory over your struggle. In, in the book of Psalms, chapter 13, verse 23 to, through 26, it says, Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel. And afterward, you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? My flesh and my heart fail. But God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. I mean, knowing that, it, it's, I, I tell you what. This is our guide. God gave this to us to, to guide us and give us answers. This is our absolute truth. God is, is love and, and truth and good. And if, if we are going through a difficult time and we are going through negative feelings and bad, just know that that's not God giving us that, those feelings. That, that is the accuser. Uh, that is that is the devil, that is Satan trying to steal our attention away from God. But God's not going anywhere. He is there for us. He, he is waiting with his arms wide open saying, son, daughter, come to me. Let me help you. Let, let me cover you with my love. And, and man, I every day I wake up, I am fortunate and I am grateful for another day. And I ask God to fill me with his spirit, to get me through that day. I ask him for the courage, strength, and wisdom that I'm uh, going to need to make it through to the end. You know, and then when I go to bed at night, I thank God for, for the blessings of that day. Um, you know, even if I had a tough day, there's good in it. Even whether I can see it or not, I know that God has my highest good in mind at all times. And I have faith in God and I believe God. So I'm grateful whether I can see what I'm being grateful for or not. You know, that that's, it's just a, a beautiful thing. And if, if we keep our eye on the prize, the prize being our relationship with God, we, we kind of have our blinders on and we can block out that other stuff, all that negative static. Um, you know, it's, it's being fearful is, can, can really get to you and fear and faith. They, they both pretty much have the same meeting. It, it is, uh, 
They are both believing what you cannot see will come to pass. Except fear attracts the negative. Faith attracts the positive. So I will always choose faith over fear. And I have faith that God will work all things out in my life. In 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 9, it says, I have been with you forever, or I, I'm sorry, I have been with you wherever you go, have gone, and I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now I will make sure your name great like the names of the greatest men on earth. And also in jo uh, Job 3.25, would I fear his come upon me? Would I dread it has happened to me? So here's Job, and Job had it tough. So when I think I'm having it bad, I, I read the book of Job and I'm like, man, that guy had everything taken away from him. His faith was completely tested and, and fear kind of overran him. And it all happened because that's all he concentrated on. Whereas faith, giving my fears to God and having faith that God is going to intervene and work in my life. And it may not be right this second. It might not be tomorrow but it'll happen in God's time when it's supposed to, that God will work it out for me. And I will be able to get through that. You know, it's, it's comforting to know that God is always working in my life. God is always, always wanting what's best for me. And God is always wanting what's best for you. That's, that's, you know, he yearns for a relationship with each and every one of us, not as a group, but as an individual. You know, he wants a, a an individual personal relationship with you. And he wants an individual personal relationship with me. And I, I tell you, my my relationship with God is is to me is a beautiful thing. I I turn to him for everything when I'm upset. When, when I, I just have negative atmosphere around me, I, I might get upset and say, why God, why? You know, but I know it's not God doing those things, but I do know that it's God that's gonna get me out of those things. You know, always remember that the power of prayer and having a close personal relationship with Jesus Christ is, is the cornerstone that personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Prayer, the word scripture, and that relationship with Jesus. You know, though, if we have all that, we're equipped. We're equipped to do all right. And then, you know, at the end of it all, when our day comes and we ascend from this earth and we go up to heaven, we get to really be there with Jesus Christ. And, and that motivates me. But I want to live the best life I can live here on earth. I want to be the best man that I can be, the, the man that God designed me to be, the God that man the, the man that God made me to be. And I want to spread the good news. You know, so I, I can't always let these struggles and, and trials and tribulations hold me down because then I can't be the best me. So in, in order to do that, I, I have to let the, the, the light of the Holy Spirit shine through me so that others can see that and go, hey, what's your trick? You know, what, what's your magic? And I go, it's, it's no trick. It's no magic. It's all God. You know, it's all a real and living God. All glory to him. You know, I, I, I like the saying that winners are, are not people who never fail but winners are people who never quit. So when you feel like quitting and you feel like giving up, don't. Give it to God, talk to God, reach out to a fellow believer, you know, look for godly counsel. Um, talk to your pastor, you know, talk to your friend, talk to a family member. You know, it's, it's God puts these people in our lives for a reason. And it's amazing that God can work through each of us to help one another. And, you know, if someone has some great words, God intended you to speak to that specific person because God was speaking to you through them. So I hope this was of help to you guys. 
Remember, we can go from struggles to triumphs and victory. I hope you guys have a great night and thanks for tuning in. Take care. Thank you.